now we are seeing a problem from the topic theory of simple bending let us see the problem a symmetric i section has flanges of size 180 mm by 10 mm and its overall depth is 500 mm and thickness of web is 8 mm so here first of all a symmetrical i section is taken of flanges 180 by 10 mm 180 by 10 mm and the web is of 8 mm thick so after that it is strengthened with a plate of size 240 mm by 12 mm so on this symmetrical i section so this i section is strengthened by a plate of 240 by 12 mm which is placed on the top side of this uh, section so here we have to find the moment of resistance of this section so after placing this uh, plate on this symmetrical i section we have to find out the moment of resistance of this total composite section so here and uh, if the permissible stress is 150 newton per mm square for this material and uh, how much uniformly distributed load it can carry if it is used as a cantilever of span 3 meters so after finding out the moment of resistance of this uh, section we have to find out also if uh, this section is used as a cantilever beam means of taking some 3 meters length uh, of beam of this uh, section cross section we have to find out what is the maximum load uh, this uh, beam or can carry that is as a udl uh, it can carry that we have to find out for this case so let us uh, see this problem how we can solve so first step we have to find out the moment of resistance of this uh, composite section after placing the plate here on the top side so moment of resistance or maximum moment of resistance we have to find out here so this we can find out from this uh, bending equation uh, that is m by i is equals to sigma by y is equals to e by r and if you consider the first two terms m by i is equals to sigma by y and here m is the maximum moment it, uh, the section can resist uh, and sigma is a permissible stress and uh, i is the moment of inertia of the composite section about the neutral axis and uh, y is the distance from the neutral axis to the outermost layer means uh, distance from the neutral axis uh, to the layer, uh, fiber which is at the maximum distance so such that we will get a maximum moment of resistance uh, by substituting this y value so here uh, to find out the uh, maximum distance from the neutral axis to the outermost layer uh, first of all let us find out the location of centroid of this uh, given uh, i section from this bottom so we know the formula uh, of any uh, composite section to find out the location of centroid x bar and y bar so for this uh, section uh, x bar is not required you can directly tell and uh, we have to locate y bar uh, for this figure from this bottom so let us uh, see the uh, formula we know basic formula so y bar is equals to a1 y1 plus a2 y2 plus a3 y3 by uh, plus a4 y y4 by a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 so uh, here we have written up to four terms why because we can or uh, i am dividing this section into four simple parts are that is so four simple rectangles so i have written up to four terms the formula so here this is the formula we are using to calculate the uh, y bar so uh, so here see a1 is the suppose i am uh, taking this uh, bottom most part as 1 and this uh, web as 2 and this top flange as 3 and uh, uh, once again this top uh, plate is as a four part number 4 so these simple uh, figures are simple rectangles we are taking here so if you see a1 means uh, 180 by 10 mm and uh, a2 means only this middle portion that is web portion so it is 8 by so this portion means see from uh, bottom to here it is 500 so if it is 10 and 10 is goes so this web height is 480 mm so uh, a2 uh, will become 8 into 480 and uh, a3 is this uh, area of this rectangle portion or this top flange that is same 180 uh, by 10 and uh, a4 is the area of this plate which is placed so it is 240 uh, by 12 so this is a1 a2 a3 and a4 so 
these values and uh, y1, y2, y3 if you see here uh, from bottom we are finding out this value so uh, y1 is the distance of center of the uh, figure 1 uh, or part 1 from this bottom so if total is 10 means uh, y1 will become 5 and y2 distance of center of the second figure that is a web from this bottom so the total is 500 means, means up to here it is 500 so it is at a, a 250 location so y2 will become 250 and uh, y3 will become uh, so from here to here total is 500 means uh, y3 is center of this third figure from this bottom so it is simply uh, this is 10 means so y3 will become 495 and uh, y4 means distance of center of this fourth uh, figure or fourth part from this bottom so total you know it is 512 from bottom to up, uh, up to here it is uh, 500 plus 12 512 but we require center means so 12 cent uh, half is 6 so the y4 will become it is 506 so these values we are substituting in this formula so a1 we have discussed it is 180 to 10 or 180 by 10 and uh, y15 plus a2 so 8 uh, uh, into 480 and uh, y2 is uh, that is 250 plus a3 once again 180 by 10 and uh, y3 495 plus a4 uh, this 240 by 12 and uh, into this a4 and into y4 is a 506 we have discussed here uh, by this is a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 and if you simplify that we are getting y bar as 321.442 mm so that is the distance of y bar from this uh, bottom so if you see here so from here if you see uh, so I have indicated here so this is the y bar distance from this bottom to here so this is a location of center of gravity and centroid for this figure and here if you draw an axis that will become neutral axis for this uh, given figure so that y bar we got, we got distance as 321.442 mm and uh, here uh, so from this formula uh, we can say uh, y bar is nothing but y means uh, distance from neutral axis to the outermost fiber means the maximum distance from the neutral axis and a, sorry so here uh, from neutral axis which fiber is the uh, at uh, most distance means this only this y bar means uh, this fiber only at uh, maximum distance from the neutral axis so how means if you see here uh, this we got some 320 so total is 506 so if you remove this 320 so remaining will be approximately 180 or 185 something like that so if you see uh, this uh, topmost fiber is at some 180 uh, or 185 some uh, distance but this bottommost figure from this neutral axis is uh, at a 321.441 uh, we got so this is the uh, at uh, more distance from the neutral axis means so this uh, at this will get uh, more stress so if you substitute means this this only we have to substitute in this formula m is equal to sigma into i by y so at this y we have to substitute this y bar value so here y bar will become y here so and also to find out this m value we have to find out i moment of inertia of this uh, composite section about this neutral axis we have to find out so so here we divide this or we have already divided this uh, figure into simple rectangles so we will find out uh, moment of inertia of each uh, part or each rectangle about this neutral axis and we'll add up them to get the moment of inertia of this total figure about this neutral axis so here we'll use simple uh, parallel axis theorem uh, that is uh, uh, i uh, iab is equals to ig plus ah square I means suppose this is a part one so if we require moment of inertia of this part one about this neutral axis so this will become area and uh, from this center to this uh, neutral axis distance will become h so and this is become neutral axis will become a b so i a b means i neutral axis means moment of inertia of this part about this neutral axis will become i g means moment of inertia of this rectangle about its own centroid i g plus a means area of this figure plus h square distance between this center to this 
uh, centroid of total figure. So, like that, we will find out the moment of inertia of all these individual parts about this neutral axis and we will add up them to get the moment of inertia of this total figure about this neutral axis. So, if you see here, we can write uh, from the first, uh, first part. So, it is simple rectangle, we know moment of inertia formula BD cube by 12. So, that is IG that will become IG plus A is uh, 180 by 10 A and H will become uh, distance uh, between the center of this figure to the uh, centroid of the total figure. So, that we, we can write uh, it is Y bar one means uh, uh, 321.44 uh, something minus this 5 mm. So, so, from here to here that is nothing but H in this case. So, 321.442 minus 5 uh, plus uh, next moment of inertia of second figure about this neutral axis. So, once again uh, IG means moment, uh, this BD cube by 12. So, this B means 8 D cube is 480 for only second figure by 12, 480 cube by 12 and uh, here this distance means center of this second figure from and uh, between means H for the second figure means distance between the center of second figure to the this total centroid that we can write as like this 321.442 minus 250 that is y bar minus uh, this center distance from here if you remove that is 250 we will get, we'll get the distance uh, between this center and the total centroid so that we have written here like this and uh, if you see third figure uh, so once again 180 by uh, that is the area and uh, we will finding out moment of inertia it is BD cube by 12 B is 180 so why because here 180 means here also 180 so BD cube 10 cube by 12 and uh, uh, area 180 by 10 and here once again if you require the in between distance so from here to this center is 495 and if you remove this Y bar so this remaining distance is nothing but H so that is nothing but uh, 495 minus this 3 to 1.442 square h square so this is a uh, third figure moment of inertia about this neutral axis and the same way if you write fourth figure so b d cube by 12 so this b is 240 d cube is 12 by so 240 into 12 cube by 12 plus area is 240 by 12 and uh, so if you see uh, we require distance of center of this fourth figure and uh, this neutral axis means so total is uh, this the center the fourth center is at a distance of, of 506 so if you remove this y bar from this 506 we'll get this distance that uh, that is only very clear from this center to this neutral axis distance that is h4 that is uh, nothing but 506 minus y bar so 506 minus y bar is 3 to 1.442 square so if you simplify all these things we'll, we are getting the I value is moment of inertia of this total figure about this uh, neutral axis as 4.25952 into 10 to the power of 8 mm power 4. So next to find out moment of resistance of the section we are using the formula sigma into I by Y. So this I have written in the first step only how we can write this and uh, sigma is the permissible stress is given 150 newton per mm square and uh, i value we got 4.25952 into 10 to the power of 8 and uh, this y we got that is y bar and y is the distance from the neutral axis to the outermost fiber it is 321.442 so if you simplify that we are getting the m value as the 1.98769 into 10 to the power of 8 newton mm or it is 198.769 kilonewton meter so we are converting newtons to kilonewtons and uh, mm to meter means here by 10 to the power of 3 for newtons to kilonewtons and one more 10 to the power of 3 means by one more 10 to the power of 3 or thousand for mm to meters so so in the de denominator we got 2000 thousand into thousand means 10 to the power of 3 into 10 to the power of 3 that is 10 to the power of 6 so if you simplify that only 10 square is remaining so that if you multiply here so it will be 198.769 kilo newton meter so this is a maximum movement that can be resisted by this uh, given section like this so next is also asking if this section is used as a cantilever beam of uh, 3 meters length 
how much UDL it can means how much maximum amount of UDL it can resist that we have to find out here. So for that let us take the figure like this and uh, W is the maximum UDL value this cantilever beam can support that is in taken in kilo newtons. So, so we know for the cantilever beam maximum bending moment is a WL square by 2. The, uh, in suppose if you take W in kilo newton and L in meter. So, so this is the maximum moment for a cantilever beam in the case of UDL. So and L is 3 meters given. So if you simplify that we are getting this maximum moment of cantilever beam for this case as 4.5 into W kilo newton meter. So this we are equating this maximum uh, res moment of resistance to this maximum moment uh, means maximum moment of resistance of this section to the uh, maximum bending moment to get W value. So it is 4.5 into W is equals to 198.769. So if you simplify that we are getting maximum load that can be maximum UDL load that can be carried by this uh, uh, given means uh, this assumed beam as a uh, uh, 44.171 kilo newton per meter. So this is a way to solve this kind of question given question. So for more videos please subscribe and activate bell symbol. Please like it, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.